Do you realize that your body actually has these little tiny noses, or we should actually call scent receptors, the technical name being olfactory receptors, throughout, inside and out? So hypothetically, when you actually go to smell your arm, your arm really is actually smelling you back? Well, your body does. And these little what's called olfactory receptors do an amazing job in responding externally to basically certain scents that may be in your environment. You can call it like, for example, aromatherapy. But here we go. In this case, what's amazing is we'll look at actually one or two scents in particular, which really have a dramatic, I mean a dramatic impact on wound healing. Now keep in mind, this study was done in vitro, so it has to be carried out to animals and or humans to be validated, but still just the same. When you look at these charts and how fast it causes wound to heal, I mean, help wounds heal, you'd be blown away. Let's get right into the research. Research, I'm gonna read kind of fast because I wanna get to the good stuff towards the end. So please bear with me and I hope not to lose you. All right, sandalwood scent facilitates wound healing and skin regeneration. That's your public title, your citation title being, a synthetic sandalwood odorant induces wound healing process in human keratinocytes via the olfactory receptor OR2AT4. Take notes. Published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, August 2014. What the researchers did is they looked in the environment, they noticed that certain scents, especially with cosmetics, colognes, or perfumes, particularly of sandalwood, had impact on the keratinocytes, or I should say the skin, that may actually help with healing. So the researchers wanted to explore that to look at different scents. They found out that actually some scents, which I regret to didn't list, actually block wound healing. But in our favor, they found a couple that actually accelerated wound healing, and they were synthetic. Now keep in mind, they didn't happen with the natural, but regardless of that, it's a scent and it worked. Sandalore and Brahminol in particular, the two synthetic scents. So let's get into the researcher's story. They say, quote, we previously showed that the stimulation of keratinocytes with synthetic sandalwood odorants often exposed to skin as ingredients of perfumes, emollients, and cleaning agents results in a transient increase of intracellular calcium concentration. This observation raised the question of whether keratinocytes express physiologically functional OR, and of course olfactory receptors, that detect odorants such as synthetic sandalwood odorants. So what the researchers did is they go, well, we got this, now let's conduct the study and see what happens. And to proceed forward, again, move fast, this is what happened. Keratinocytes, the major cell type of the epidermal layer, express a variety of different sensory receptors that enable them to react to various environmental stimuli and process information in the skin. Here we report the identification of a novel type of chemoreceptors in human keratinocytes, still factor receptors. The little tiny noses that move throughout the skin, so to say, that help the body uh, work better. We cloned and functionally expressed the cutaneous OR or two a T4, again, notes, and identified sandalore, a synthetic sandalwood odorant, as an agonist of the receptor, meaning to help the body heal. Now, this is what happened, and this is how it worked according to the researchers. In a few seconds, I'm going to show you a chart, and you're going to be blown away on how incredible the impact was in sandalore for accelerating wound healing itself. And it was control and the, sandal, uh, the sandalore itself. But here we go. Moreover, the long-term stimulation of the keratinocytes with sandalore positively affected cell proliferation and migration and regeneration of the keratinocyte monolayers in a vitro wound scratch essay. All right, here we go. Look at that graph. You see the control? I think it was like uh, a little bit of DMSO solution compared to the sandalore itself. You see that a graph that's 48 hour period of time. Look how much more that sandalore helped heal that wound than basically the control. That is incredible, and that's incredible impact if you look in the hospital cell settings or people which are have poor circulation or disabled in some aspect or can't move around, bed sores, you name it, band-aids, you can go on and on and on. Let's continue with the study. These findings combined with our studies on human skin organ culture strongly indicate that the OR, 2AT4, meaning identifying the olfactory receptor that seemed to have the benefit, in human keratinocytes re-epithelization, I hate that word, during wound healing processes. So keep in mind, look at that graph, look at the acceleration of healing. That has incredible impact. You're talking a wound healing that much faster just in regards to the smell of something. Again, can you imagine even if you're added to shampoos, cologne, soaps, whatever it is, people have a hard time healing? That's freaking fascinating. Again, I hope this helps. It uses synthetics, Sandalore or Brominol, certain forms didn't work and certain forms were actually bad, bad. But keep in mind, very positive, and I hope this helps. Our channel, signing off once again. Thank you.